the Staples Center in Los Angeles, where we're getting set to bring you all of today's action. Broadcasting live, 2K Sports presents the NBA. It's Monday night. This is Kevin Harlan. We've got Chris Weber and Greg Anthony with us. And from the sideline, we'll be hearing from David Aldridge. GA, it's all yours. Kevin, thank you. <laughs> and David, as most people know, you Last went to America, so night. I get it. class in session. Thanks, DA. No, and buddy. this is what the schedule looks like for the Clippers. On Wednesday, it'll be the Cleveland Cavaliers coming into town. And then on Friday, they'll be playing against Damian Lillard and the Portland Trailblazers. The starters for the Portland Trailblazers. The veteran pair of Lillard and McCollum are the guards. I'm playing as Odin. Aldridge out there with Batum, and it's Odin. Trying to get the Portland that first game. And for the Clippers, we've got Shea Gilgis Alexander. Griffin is out there with Jordan. Then it's Maggetti, and it's Paul in at the point. Chris, we're just getting into a new year. Already, though, injuries hitting a couple of teams. Yeah, Injuries not even turned on. Get what are you talking by the about? End of the year. You know, Kevin Harlan. You guys back to 100%, so you don't want to rush them back to the So the Clippers win the tip. Damn, hey, 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 jump. The dish to Maggetti. Pass to Gilgis Alexander. Back to Maggetti. Four on the shot clock. Yep. That Why did it make me it. roll all the way out? This is Gilgis Alexander's responsibility to find his guys when they're open. Alert against Paul. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. Yeah, going hard to the rack, making a statement here early on. Great look. High percentage shot. That's the efficiency you're looking to establish. Here is Paul, following the score by Damian Lillard. Oh, wait. Now they join the and they the got Brooks. Here's Gilgis Alexander, and he uses the glass on the lane. Largely because of that length, Gilgis Alexander feeling confident attacking inside. The hell? Call him outside. Oh, my God. Okay. Shoots from 12. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. But they found exactly the shot they wanted. I mean, they'll take that every time. Paul dishes to Maggetti. And that one is hammered home. And one step ahead of the defense with that solid screen. And then Greg, the monster dunk to finish it off. Oh, come on, guys. Someone has to rotate over. Defensively, that's just poor communication. Damn. And stolen by Jordan. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. Pass to Maggetti from outside the arc. And a great assist by Gilgis Alexander as that one goes in. Ooh, they've come out of the locker room. His eye. Four for four to start. Alert against Jordan. Why did, why did it switch a lot of competition at that point? He's got the lift to wrong with this game, yo. Coach is liking what he's seeing from his offense. And guys, they put the defense on the defensive. Now here's Paul. And good as it just oh, right down through the net. Their hot start keeps getting hotter. Five for five now to keep things going. Lillard what from the outside. Connects from three-point range. Lillard's three point. got five now. A volume three-point shooter. That's because his confidence is what makes him so dangerous for deep. And how many players have ever notched multiple 60-point games? The list? Wilt, Jordan, Kobe, Elgin Baylor, James Harden, Damian Lee. Now here's Griffin. Some solid defense from Aldridge. Trailblazers trail by four. Why is he Pass passing? to McCollum. Back to Lillard. What is it doing? To the inside. That's good from Odin. And you think of those cold-blooded scores. Man, none better than Lillard. That certain players inspire appropriate fear. He hits half court. He's looking great. Well, he is looking confident 
Love how they're using him so far. Yeah, that's because he's getting his number called early. I mean, he's doing his part to help carry the offensive load. Now here's Odin. His second shot goes in. Off to a good start. Two for two. This is the kind of teammate Batum is. You like seeing him share it like this. And here in the first quarter, with a little over three and a half minutes played. Maggetti against Batum. Maggetti kicks to Gilgis Alexander. Score it. His third straight basket in three tries. The, the, the classic combo guard, Gilgis Alexander, is effective in the two-man game, especially on that first option, taking it himself. Now, here's Batum. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Shots good from Odin. Wow, what a pass there. He made that a very easy basket with that setup. Sorry, Chris Paul. You know I love you. Al Paul. I got to get this win. I'm pissed off. There's the pass to Maggette. And here is Gilgis Alexander. He is guarded by McCollum. Right side, Griffin. Five on the clock. From 18 feet away. And it's the Clippers scoring again. Can we talk about the work Griffin does in the paint, but don't, don't forget about his mid-range game. He's got a pretty effective jump shot. Lillard, the pass to Odin. Good. Great play by Lillard to set it up. Odin's got eight. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. So it's Paul with it, bringing it up for Los Angeles. They come into this one following the loss to the Grizzlies. Yeah, lots of sloppy play in that one. Several key miscues. They they just couldn't overcome the mistakes. They were their worst old enemy in that game. They kept on shooting themselves in the foot. And it's a completely new group for Los Angeles. All right, a chance to look at the numbers for McCullough. Queens is Last in the season, building. He played outstanding. He averaged about 23 points per, four assists and four rebounds. But to have a scorer like him consistently deliver you points makes such a big difference for a team. Yeah, yeah, and it gives you something you really can rely on. Going how did, how? Game. You can also work off of him to look to create for others. And those are the kind of nice inside looks they've gotten here in the first half. And the foul on Elton Brand. That is his first foul of the game. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. McCollum deciding where to My go bad. with it. Six to shoot. But two inside the three-point line. And he wills that one in. Sinking right through off the back iron. Punch, counter punch. Impressive offensive production early on. Yeah, this is what you love to see. Both teams going at it, working to get to their spots and cashing in. Now here is Brand on the wing, Johnson. Offline with his three. Portland trailing here. Batum wide open. He fired. And another three for Portland. Well, that just speaks to the confidence Batum has in himself. He likes to catch and shoot Jay because it catches defenders off their guard. Johnson finds Zubats. Knocks it loose. Passes it oh. to Brand. Here's Zubats. Brand trying to free himself up. Zubats, no good. The defense ready for him on that possession. They damn, I know that. Because he is so strong in the paint. A shot by Batum, no good. And the layup is good. Now it's a three-point trailblazer lead. Oh, he must have had a good warm-up because he's hot. I mean, he's three for four already. And we're only getting started. Pass to man. Outside Odom. And there's the foul. It's on Nicholas for two. That is his first foul of the game. Man, that's It's close, but, you know, didn't get on balance quick enough. Chris came in has checked in for Zubats. And the Trailblazers making a change here Game as well. Nurkic has checked in. Here's Mann. 
Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. Shot to stop the run. He clangs that one off the back iron and down it falls. And pro move there. Finds a way to gain some separation against the much taller defender. Showing that short area is going to allow him to create some space. Oh, the movement off the ball is good. And the pass to hit him in stride is even better. Johnson outside to the middle. Here's Brand. The kick out to Odom. Those three pointers off the mark. Trailblazers leading by three. I got both centers in the game. Lillard attacking, and he drops in the way up off the glass. Lillard's got his third basket of the night. They are just killing him on the interior. Batum against Odom. Takes a three. Nailed from three-point land. Man, I love how Odom stretches the floor. They're always ready to shoot from distance when the defense isn't focused. And that concludes a back and forth even do that scoring we got first the quarter of play. Portland out in front. They lead by two. And the second quarter about to get started. We'll be back in just a moment. Possessions when the defense isn't so sharp, you know. Usually at the beginning of a defensive possession is get over the first screen, you know. Well, and Damian Lillard, Greg, a custom and almost entirely new group here for Portland. Greg Oden, Why he's checked in for Yusuf Nurkic. But two comes in for Wells. McCollum's checked in for Gary Trent. And Damian Lillard is subbed in for Anthony Simo on the court for the Trailblazers. At the guard spots, longtime teammates Lillard and McCollum. Odin out there with Zach Randolph. And it's Batum in at the three, the small fold. Clippers trail by four. Outside, Gilgis Alexander into the lane. Power down with both hands. And even if Gilgis Alexander isn't the fastest guy out there, he stays in balance. It helps him to be effective on his drive. Lillard against Jordan. Lillard attacking, and Lillard throws it down. Oh, and he went for the two-hander on the slam using some muscle. Some urgency from him there, sure. We're just over two and a half minutes into the second quarter. Well, we talk about the clutch scoring of Damian Lillard. I'll put it in black and white. Since he entered the league in 2012, nobody has more makes in the last 20 seconds of a game Whoa, to tie the... or go ahead. <laughs> like, dude, I know he ain't Man, fast, he's got but such damn. a great touch and feel around the basket. He made that reverse look easy. Now here's McCollum. 11 points for him in that last game against Phoenix. Bit of a score as My man Zebo. That's even a better pass. Oh, damn. A lot of assists for him. The Clippers trail. Here's Gilgis Alexander. And Odin sends it back. Another shot. <laughs> Portland oh, hell. I thought, was... <laughs> I thought that was. I thought CJ was. <laughs> <laughs> and taking a quick look here at the hustle stats for Portland. They deserve a lot of credit for the defense they've played in the paint here early. Contesting shots, blocking shots, just making life difficult on the opposing shooters in general. And also, how about the fact that defensively they're getting that backboard and getting out in transition, especially in this first half. You gotta track early in the pick and roll. He's so good at getting buckets out of those sets. Here's Batum. Back to McCollum. To the paint. Here's Randolph. There we go. The shot, and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. 
strength and the outstanding hands of Randolph, enabling him to move to the harm. The Trailblazers shooting their first free throw of the night here. And one of the highlights last year for this group was the fact that they were so efficient from the charity strike. That's a huge factor. Zubox is checked in for Los Angeles. <laughs> he comes in for Harold. Zubox, the best of Paul. Again, Los Angeles. Paul oh, is shoot me a range. Paul is one of them. Portland leading. Three-pointer, Miller, And it's in. Basket number six for him thus far. He has only missed two shots from the floor. And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. Yeah, that's why he's hot. He's playing with a lot of confidence. That's why they're going to him with such consistency. Zubac kicks to Gilgis Alexander. He's four for six from the field with that miss. And so it's McCollum with it. He brings it up for Portland. Lillard with the bucket. He's got six points from beyond the arc in this quarter. I mean, for the game, he's got nine points from deep. Clippers have gotten seven of their 12 field goal attempts to drop here in the second quarter, up over 50%. Los Angeles calls timeout. And Chris, one change we're seeing now, a lot less post-up scoring. Uh, do you miss it? I, I do miss it. Seven foot. to the basketball game. Got to win. But I love to see how players uh, do it effectively inside and outside. Think about it being, think about it. I mean, and on the whole, I love the way that the game is called. And I really believe your substitution. We've got 113 left in the first half. Ram, and it's sent back by Aldridge. And look at how well Aldridge utilizes Sorry, his size, reaching out him. and just batting away in the shot. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball movement. Here's man. Inside, here's Cayman and finished Bro. off by Cayman. Strong move to the 10, trying to get his guys going. Hard not to get motivated, GA, right when your teammate makes that kind of play. They needed that, and I love that he just didn't settle for the lady. Puts it up from seven. And Portland again with the bucket. Yeah, the high basketball IQ and the showing up. I mean, moving the ball to the open man. Clippers Three trail by eight. Bro. Outside Odom. To the wing on the left. Here's Man. He is guarded by McCollum. Why he bounce? That's going to be a travel. Portland basketball. It's kind of a comedy of air. Force him in this first half thus far. Just DJ been Boston. all over the place. And a chance there to look back at the stunning mobile one block a moment ago. And big defensive plays like that will help them stay in control of this one. Trailblazers leading by eight. McCollum outside. It's picked off. I told you to do that. For three, a three-pointer is right on target. Seven points in the game. That's a well-deserved assist. Not every player has the vision to make that. Oh, my and God. What the hell is that? So that'll be it for the first half. Fairly even battle underway in this one. Trailblazers lead by five. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks a lot. Damien, where does that game face of yours come from? Thanks so much, David. And we'll step away briefly, but get you right back out here for the start of the third quarter after this break. 30. By the time I may be three thumbnails. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, everybody. Tremendous for a staff. Glad to have you back. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. Damian Lillard has been having a big night. He ended up with 17 points, four assists, and one rebound. He's really stood out for them to this point. What do you think about Portland, Kenny? Well, if you compare the assist numbers, you can see who's been the superior team. And they're playing a much better brand of basketball. That bodes well for them the rest of the way. And Jack, you'll take on the Clippers. They did some good things, but not enough. 
They need to start being more assertive. Go harder to the rim. Generate some free throw opportunities at the very least. Do something. And that'll do it for us. The third quarter about to begin with Kevin Harlan standing by. We'll catch you on the flip side. My, My brother. brother. second half action for you and if the next couple quarters are similar to the first this one could go down to the last possession really an incredible game from Lillard yeah he's just been raining down on him from deep here talk about dialed in oh, what a tremendous first half okay obviously he's feeling the flow and he's looking to keep it going and as we get into this third quarter as we've seen so far neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard yet. We've got DeAndre Jordan, Gilgis Alexander out there with Paul, then there's Griffin, and it's Maggetti in at the small forward. That's the group starting the second half for Teron Liu. Pulls it up. No good on the shot, a bit long that time. Trailblazers leading by five. A shot by Lillard, oh. wide open. That's in for his eighth bucket tonight. A hot eight for 11 shooting so far. Oh, you gotta love how clever Lillard is. I mean, he's exceptional at gutting the apart with his dribbling moves. Paul with the ball, picked up by Aldridge. That's a surprise. I mean, really out of character for him to miss when the defense is not right up on him. Let's go. It's good for his eighth consecutive basket in only eight tries. Wow. It's a great move, and he catches the defense completely off guard. You'd like to see a little more energy coming out of halftime run defensively. Poked away and stolen by Odin. What? A what is to extend doing? the lead to double digits, but it's no good. I'm over holding down the damn square button, bro. Gilgis Alexander deciding where to go with it. That's him. That's his fifth field goal. He's shooting a hot 71%. Five for seven. Colin passes to Batum. Here's Odin. And it's Odin finishing it off. And just tacks a few more points onto their lead with the Tomahawk. Ah, that's bringing it down hard. Rebound. Clippers trail by nine. Ball outside. Kicks to Griffin. Jordan up top. The pass to Paul. Six on the shot clock. Shoots over Lillard. The shot's good from Paul. Paul's got 13 points. Every team needs a star like CP3. Supervise whatever you need it. When you need it. Lillard, right side. Griffin with some nice D. And Gilgis Alexander's got the ball here for the Clippers. Following this one, they get to host the Cavaliers. That'll be the last of three straight at home for the team. And stolen by Odin. Portland moving the ball. Aldridge trying to break free. McCollum, no good. Out of bounds, Clippers ball as the Clippers keep possession. For the Clippers, Zubats is checked in for Jordan. And it's Harold in for Blake Griffin. And the Trailblazers making a change here as well. Jermaine O'Neal has checked in for LaMarcus Aldridge. And C.J. McCollum graduating with a bachelor's in journalism. Jermaine is already putting the first covering first the league. First first the league. He might be coming for all jobs, Greg, but, you know, his intellect is in the reporters for studying the game. Los Angeles shooting their first free throws of the night right here. And one of the highlights last year for this group was the fact that they were so efficient from the charity strike. That's a huge factor. Yeah, and the leadership Paul brings to his team is so incredibly important. I mean, his teammates really rally behind him. 
Shot from 12. That one good for two. O'Neal's got his first bucket of the night. They're getting on a roll inside. Their last three field goals have come from the paint. A little under two and a half minutes off the clock now here in the third. Alert against Paul. On the wing, Gilgis Alexander. Over McCullum. That's short off the rim. Portland leading by eight. Uh -oh, and the dunk by O'Neal. And I've been impressed with the unselfishness, but also getting guys the ball where they can do something with it. Yeah, he's just not giving the ball up. He's passing with a purpose. And this lead the scores. Puts one up from 19. It's good again, and the next one's seven three. Shooting night so far. I love how Paul adjusts to the situation. Always seems to create just enough space for his shot. Frustrating if you're the man guard. Odin against Spaghetti. Odin passes to O'Neal. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance. I can't get no rebound. Everybody's going to be on Montrez here. And guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown so far for Portland. Their inside game has been great tonight. So much of their scoring has come from the paint. And I also love the way they move the basketball. Their passing has been outstanding here in the second half. Here's what the Clippers are going with right now. Eldon Brands checked in for Montrez here. And it's Odom in for Corey Maggette. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. Paul with the ball. 16 points for him. Over Lillard. It'll go. The Portland lead is cut down now to just seven on the basket from Paul. In the mid-range, rarely the hallmark of efficiency in today's NBA, but it is on point tonight. O'Neal with it. And it's Odom picking him up. And there's Lillard. That's good. On the assist by O'Neal. Lillard's got 21 in the game. The Clippers have gone 4 of 7 to get things started here in the second half. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. There's the feed to Brand. Shoots it. Another one falls for the Clippers. Crisp, intelligent passing to make that basket possible. Lillard dishes to McCollum. Back to Lillard. Add that basket to his impressive total. Brings him to 10 for 14. His energy level has never dropped in this game. I mean, he's working his tail off. And the D is struggling to keep up. Clippers trail by nine. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. A strong take by SGA. Six six with point guard skills. What a nightmare matchup he is. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. And last season, he was successful. 81% of the time when he went to the line, so he didn't waste a lot of opportunities. Here's what the Clippers are going with right now. Kamen comes in for Ivica Zubac. Man subbed in for Chris Paul. Here's Odin. What? Through the net again. He's done that 10 times tonight. And he's only needed 11 shots to get there. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. Clippers have gone 6 of 9 for the floor here in the second half. They've got to be happy with that. Oh, going to them spin. Here's Odom, and it's good off the back rim and in. Odom's got five points so far. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. You see this all too often. You have to be willing to put it in. That one is good. He's only missed one shot of his six taken on the floor. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. 129 left in the third. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. No oh, good with the triple. Oh, Blazers leading by eight. McCollum outside. Goes up from the top of the key. And with the rebound. 
Oh, he did everything right there except hit the shot. This is it to keep. On the wing, Gilgis Alexander. He is guarded by McCollum and stolen by Odin. Pass to McCollum. And too much time in the way. Oh, man. Look at fucking dribbling. How does it look now for Portland? Shoot ass. What's he talking about? How about the damn dribbling? How the fuck are we losing? That's delivered. And he's going up for the alley -oop. And it's Odin finishing it off. It's just another way Aldridge beats you. As a facilitator, very comfortable making decisions. On the floor for Portland. The veteran pair of Lillard and McCollum are the guard. Patuma's out there with LaMarcus Aldridge, and it's Odin in at the center, filling out the middle. Here's Brand. Shot is good off the back rim and in. Brand's got the lead up to eight now for the Clippers. Portland's gotten a lot of looks from outside tonight, five of 12. Outside Aldridge. Shoots over Zubac, and Aldridge gets it to go on the assist by Lillard. Lillard's got assist number seven for him tonight. Los Angeles has gotten off four three-pointers in the final quarter, and two of them have fallen. Tipped away and stolen by Odin. Goes up on the wing. Again, the Trailblazer score. Moving it around, eight of their last ten coming off assists. Clippers leading by four. To the inside. Nice pass. Right into the red track. for the layup. The comfort zone of Jordan. The closer he is to the rim, the more efficient he becomes. Jordan against Lillard. Outside, but two. Good. Great play by Lillard to set it up. Lillard's got his eighth assist in the game. Los Angeles has gotten a positive outcome on seven of their 14 oh, three yeah. pointers in this game. Not bad at all. And the Clippers call time here. And during this timeout, I'm sure they'll be hydrating themselves with Gatorade. All the effort out there on the floor. And these timeouts can be such a good story. Send a short rest and recharge in the battle. And now, let's present our New Balance player of the game. Chris Paul. And his percentage from the field tonight seems almost made up. I didn't think it was possible to have that kind of success shooting the basketball. You, you need a little bit of luck, a bunch of hard work, and a whole lot of talent. All right, let's right catch up with our sideline reporter, David Alder. Hey, Kevin, during that last break, I heard Teron Lewis, he talked with the team. He wants them to maintain their balanced attack. And he told them they're doing a great job of finding space out on the perimeter, which has led to all those good shots. He likes the rhythm and the flow of this offense. He just told them, keep shooting it with confidence. Kevin? All right, David, thanks. Paul kicks to Griffin. From the top of the key, he buries it. Griffin's got four this quarter. He's showing why he's considered a lead. Griffin wants to be the guy taking these important shots. Here's Odin. Again, the Trailblazer score. And how about the execution? It's really when it matters most. He knew he had the height advantage and just got the job done. No need to pass in that situation. And so it's Paul bringing it up for the Los Angeles Clippers. Three-point lead. Again, Los Angeles. Oh, this is why you put the ball in Paul's hands. It doesn't, he doesn't, he's not going to back down. McCollum outside. Portland moving the ball. Here's Odin. The Clippers oh grab the miss. Oh and it's Gilgis Alexander in the corner. On the pass to Jordan. Thirty-two left to play here in the fourth. An emphatic alley-oop jam. Chemistry at its best. An unreal alley-oop. No, no, you're right. The pass, the catch, the dunk. All of it perfect. 
McCollum against Griffin. It's McCollum with the drive. Good work there as it goes. And McCullough is a lethal scorer, especially when the game is on the line. Love how under control he is. Los Angeles leading by five. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. Here's Griffin. And a great assist by Gilgis Alexander as that one goes in. But he's been there for them, but they haven't needed him much. To the paint. And Jordan sends it down. Yeah. And really, yeah. that's the creation of Jordan. Just denying those shots there with tremendous power. That one goes in. And now it's a nine-point clipper lead. And it's just competing. And it's, you know, giving your best. Come on, man. Let me most. fucking move. This is what guys play for. And when it pans out like this, it's a great fit. Aldridge dishes to Odin. Goes back up. Props in the layup for two. Perfect oh, lead from Aldridge there. Very willing to share it with his guys and getting them going. 34 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. They get a hand on it and stolen by Odin. Not enough ticks left on the clock. I'm hitting the trike. What the fuck? Oh, tough, man. You get to this Ray's point over. in the game, you fought hard, did your best, but just wasn't enough. Oh, good interior offense. Those passes have to be right on target. And an intentional foul right there. And now another look at that mobile one block defensive performance. And, and guys, don't think twice about attempting that shot again. That was a big time rejection. And now they decide to foul attention. CJ McCullough. Now they won't play the damn defensive attention. This free throw is good, and that increases their lead to six. And the effort level of Gilgis Alexander drew great reviews from his college coach as the hardest worker and most coachable player on the team. Had to come up and make a dance. It's even better with excellent work at the strike. Time called here. The Blazers decide to talk it over. They're trailing by seven. 19 seconds left to play in the final quarter. 19 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Lillard misses. Ball's knocked loose and stolen by Odin. In a game this close, this late, that kind of need is clutch. It is. And then, Greg, to go in for the flush. That could be a backbreaker. Maybe, but you can't fail to protect the ball. That's the like you can Those types of turnovers. Two shots. Second one is good. And both at the line. And it's a seven-point game. Time called here. The Blazers decide to talk it over. They're down by seven. There's ten seconds left in the fourth. What's your take, guys? Trying to keep hope alive, but, but I don't see them making a comeback. Yeah, it's so important at this stage in the game for everyone to be on the same page and working together. Tipped away. And stolen by Odin. And so Los Angeles takes the win. It was a fantastic ball game, and they did a great job making sure it didn't get away from them late. Yeah, I mean, they faced some challenges, but really held firm when they needed to. I hate on that both shit. Ends, come off the court. Effective game doesn't keep pace all of a sudden like win. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge like who's taking the ball from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks very much, Shape. All right, David. Great job. Thanks so much. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Greg Anthony, Chris Weber, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching the NBA. I ain't mad at the presented by Two Sports. On the run. See you later. But bruh, like how they fuck they like you out the game for two minutes and somehow twenty fucking points are scored. Twenty-two minutes, four points. Twenty-six minutes, four points.